gentlemen, but this match is your second of two main events this evening. Your referee, Scott Dickinson. Well, on the heels of the announcement of what may be the end of the storied career of Dean Malenko, we enter our main event, Triple Threat, Tag this Team Action. Let's go to the Angeles. Unless, at least for a night, Team Extreme is five strong. Uh-huh. Absolutely. We got uh, Brittany and Brian Jr., the Pillman clan, making their entrance with one of the hottest acts in all the business right now, the Hardy Boys and Lita. Yeah. How, how's that for walking in high cotton, as they say, right? There you go. Matt Hardy, the reigning WWF European champion at this point. You can see he's uh, proudly wearing that around his waist. And uh, the Hardy Boys are going to enter a battle with a team that they've already made some history with over the past couple of years. Let's go to Steve. Well, Les, it was October of 1999 when the Hardy Boys and Edge and Christian first set the wrestling world on its ear with a memorable ladder match at the No Mercy pay-per-view. Since then, we've seen ladder matches table matches, TLC matches, the ante keeps growing between the Hardy Boys and Edge and Christian. What a huge get for you to bring that rivalry to the Pillman Show. And now we're going to see a wrestling match. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and another addition to this, it comes the final announcement. Indeed. So you see Edge, who's just a couple of years away from mega stardom as a world champion and the rated R superstar at this point. I mean, along with the Dudleys, uh, easily the three hottest teams in the industry. Edge came in and did a shot for us uh, at a, a, a two-nighter uh, for HWA uh, at, when he was just beginning to be Edge, and I said, who is Edge? He said, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to the, meet Team 3. Well, let's get one half of that team at this point, and it's a dual champion. Uh, Canyon was gifted the United States Championship by Booker T on an episode of SmackDown. Meanwhile, he and Diamond Dallas Page had captured the WWF World Tag Team Championship at this point in time. I believe they were in the midst of a rivalry with The Undertaker and Kane around this point in time. And Canyon was also calling himself the MVP of the Invasion. As Let's go back to the Angeles. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. It's <laughs> DDP in the main event of Pillman 01, along with his longtime friend and rival, Chris Canyon. And of course, Chris has left us. And uh, what, a, what a good guy. He really was. He really was. And, and Canyon's one of those guys that is certainly, uh, I, you know, I've talked with many people in the industry. If he were around today, he'd be having a huge money run with the more of appreciation for a style that exists today with the the love of nostalgia on the independence i think canyon and mortis would have a second or third run in them yeah. and and also the progression and development of so many young lgbt wrestlers on the independence the canyon uh, was a forerunner for right exactly exactly and of course this is the last match of our journey through this four these four shows i'm out of breath Wes. Oh, uh, man, I, if you haven't seen any good wrestling here, then you haven't had your eyes open, yeah. is all I can say. I uh, can't even tell you off the top of my head how many hours we've been sitting here, but I've enjoyed every second of it, and uh, I have no doubt these six are going to send us home on a high note. And, and you know, as as we watch this, I, and I know you know we're slowly closing this, this whole uh, set of shows out, uh, I can't even begin to mention all the names of the people that it took... 
the, obviously all the wrestlers, God love them for giving their time and effort, for no pay, just to, to honor uh, one of the fallen brothers to help his family. And um, the volunteers, you know, the, uh, the people behind the scenes, uh, you know. Hold on, can the mic. Canyon and DDP are complaining about the fans wanting a five-second pose from Edge and Christian. And Canyon, you saw he used a pose with both middle fingers. wonder if Austin's got that pa uh, patent. Uh, should, <laughs> should we call him? <laughs> we is there a patent infringement here? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, just the support staff and just knowing from my experience uh, on running events on obviously a much smaller level than this, the amount of, of manpower it takes and just how difficult it is to find good help. Sure. It's, it's a tongue-in-cheek expression, but it's true. I mean, to well, find... You know, the, the, the company that uh, let us use the limousines and the vans to pick the people up at the airport and what transport them around. And the caterer, we the same crate, caterer all four years that were just right there, man. Knew what we needed after the first year and never, uh, never wanted for anything. It's, I mean, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's kind of a dream for me and, and to actually sit here and watch all this, and as I've said a hundred times, I'm sure, over at least four shows, that I, I'm seeing things I didn't see because I was, you know, busy elsewhere and, and uh, involved in, in running this outfit. But um, over these four shows, we raised over $120,000. That's huge. For the uh, uh, Brian Pillman Memorial Fund. And Les, it looks like we may not get a main event after all because Canyon and no, Paige... No, 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 no. Well, let's go as to Edge. As much as you people want to see a totally terrific five-second pose. Even better than that, we want to kick their WCW asses. So get back here. Canyon and Paige have said, we'll leave if there's a five-second pose. Edge says, well, we'd rather beat the heck out of you anyway. So action apparently will resume with WWF versus WWF versus Alliance. I got uh, one question for you first. Who better than Cannon? I thought the Democratic debate was over. Do you, do you agree, <laughs> Les, that there is, in fact, nobody better than Canyon? Uh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't agree. He tried. <laughs> he did. But it's going to be Canyon and Matt Hardy starting out one-on-one -on -one here. Triple threat, one fall, tag team action. First fall is going to win this thing. Canyon, called by many the innovator of offense. For a lot that he's been able to do, of course, uh, ironically enough, Canyon uh, helped originate the flatliner submission, or excuse me, the flatliner finishing move that was later adopted by Edge in the WWF. So, uh, interesting parallel in the early going. I believe that was Jeff, Wa Jeff Hardy that threw some water at Canyon. Brother Matt is uh, waiting to get a hold of Canyon and Paige, who are certainly the away team here in more ways than one. They're representing the Alliance, and... Certainly the antagonists in this matchup. Uh, so many of these fans have so much respect for the Hardys, for Edge and Christian. Everything they've done, all the sacrifices they've made. And Kenyon Page is swimming upstream right now. Against the current. Indeed. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let's we'll see what Kenyon and Hardy bring to the table here. Colin Elbow tie up. And uh, You're looking for a... a, a I started to say an edge, and no, we've already got one. There you right? go. But no, uh, actually, Canyon and uh, Dallas, I guess, would be the least experienced of the three teams. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Edge and Chris have been together since the Indies, and, and of course, the Hardy Boys. Is, obviously, they've been together since birth. Yeah, and there's a unique roll up with a bridge by Canyon trying to keep Hardy down. Canyon pretty proud of himself. But Matt is measuring Canyon the hard right hand. Matt always throws a hell of a fist, and Canyon on the receiving end. Neck breaker nicely done. Hardy continues to measure Canyon, who is seeking salvation from Paige. And you know the great thing about Matt is he's not broken or woken. He is not. No, thank God. He hasn't even entered the era of Mattitude yet. <laughs> no. And tagging to DDP at this time, easily the most decorated athlete in this match. Three-time world champion. We saw him deliver the diamond cutter to Shane Douglas of Pillman 2000. And Popped up just recently on a <clears throat> AEW, but uh, the uh, DDT yoga yeah. is, uh, I've never used it, but I've heard nothing but positive oh. stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, it's worked wonders for 
Uh, the likes of Jerry Briscoe, he swears by it. I know it's uh, been credited by Chris Jericho as prolonging his career. And DDP had one last match in his mid-60s on AEW TV. That's big. And also big there was Paige tagging Christian before sneaking out, forcing the WWF teams to do battle. And we know, as we've documented, there's rich history here. And Hardy and Christian don't want to fight one another. They want to, they want to take it to those WCW invaders. Hey, well, let's go to Christian. I might be wrong, but I think I heard some people over here calling you guys a pussy. Well, Christian trying to get under the skin of Page and Canyon with some of these uh, chants from these fans, and inferring in slightly more. Uh, uh, terse terms that uh, maybe Page and Canyon are a bit scared. You think? Just a tad, just a smidge. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think... Hey. Matt Hardy, got the mic. If Let's the two of you don't say. want to wrestle, it's probably because you suck like the rest of WCW. So you know what? I know everyone came out to the Pillman show tonight to be entertained. We've wrestled Christian and Edge once before. You know, if you've ever heard of it, there's a little ladder match in the history, TLC. A few things like that. So, as this crowd said before, if you two want to stay outside and be... We'll go ahead and entertain everybody here by wrestling one another. All right, so Canyon and Page don't want to play ball. This is going to turn into a tag team match with the Hardys versus Edge and Christian. The, uh, well, the two WWF teams want to give these fans their money's worth and give them a hell of a main event, and if Page and Canyon won't cooperate, and <laughs> it can appear that they're not. Page and Canyon with front row seats to watch the action. Like their money. <laughs> those are those are got to be more expensive than the VIP stuff is behind the barriers, right? Oh, let's well, add it to the check. Hardy with a side headlock on Christian, and again this rivalry. These two teams kind of came up together in the WWF from uh, young hopeful rookies to established popular teams, and it's Christian and Matt center ring. Matt gets the shoulders down for two. Christian quickly escapes. Both these teams know each other very very well. Christian looking for the unprettier in the early going. Hardy counters. Matt going twist of fate. Christian rolls free. Backslide now. Shoulders down. Hardy escapes. And you can see how well these two men know one another and the great respect from these fans here in Cincinnati as well. And the <laughs> Canyon and Page got a bit jealous of the attention, but break back to their chairs. There's an old adage about either or get off the pot, right? Well, I think there is, yeah. And Edge has been tagged in, and Jeff Hardy can't tagged in. Suck. He's not from Ohio. Page taking cheap shots at the Great Buckeye State now. Well, that I can't handle that. You, I'm, well, and and if if I'd have been somewhere around that ring, I'd have told the sound guy cut the cut the mics. <laughs> These guys actually have to wrestle. That is that is the objective, from what I understand. It, but it, yeah, I heard that. <clears throat> Edge and Jeff Hardy, a uh, of course not just the tag team rivalry, but one on one as well. They have a lot of uh, classic memorable matches for world championships. And as we see these men tie up. Edge and Jeff, arguably the most successful of their respective teams. As Edge elbows out of the hammerlock. The charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, able to reverse. Edge elevates Hardy, great sense of balance on the apron. Able to push Edge down. Jeff Hardy going to take a chance. That's where he feels most at home on that top turnbuckle. Edge out of the way to avoid the contact. Jeff sweeps the legs. Jackknife pin. Edge bridges upward. 
I switch into going for the, got, didn't get the backslide, missed the clothesline, missed both missed the drop kicks. And again, a testament <clears> to how well both teams know one another. And Canyon and DDP, a quick golf clap, and they're back off the apron. And Edge and Jeff have had enough. Their, their patience has been spent. DDP and Canyon hit each other like the Three Stooges, and we're off to the races here with Jeff and Edge. Wait, uh, wait Jeff, the opportunist. Jeff and Edge are still legal, and Jeff almost won this first team. <laughs> That's great wherewithal by Jeff Hardy. Uh, yes. Adjust to the situation. Edge gets the foot up in the corner, and Paige, the opportunist, with a clothesline, and went for Edge, but Canyon caught Edge on the rebound. And Canyon tags himself in <laughs> on edge. There will be two men legal in the ring at the time, by the way. And right now it's Canyon and Hardy, and Page takes the opportunity to send Hardy into the rail a second time. And uh, it could be a big feather in the cap for the reigning World Tag Team Champions, Canyon and Page. Those titles are not on the line tonight. And Hardy finds himself in a bad way uh, with Chris Positively Canyon. I don't remember reading the rule book where I don't want to be in a match, but now I want to be in a match. Maybe I won't want to be in it later. But there, well, must, there must be something there, right? That's true. Canyon springs in with the elbow. And, well, I mean, they weren't necessarily breaking any rules. They weren't legal. They didn't have to be in the match at that point, but they certainly waited to pick their well, spot. They, they certainly did, didn't they? As Canyon tags in Diamond Dallas Page. Here's some double teaming. Page goes downstairs. Canyon, variation of a Russian leg sweep, and Page down with the elbow. Shoulders down on Jeff Hardy. Two count only. You notice the forearm dripped across the face as well. A little extra insult to injury by DDP. Jeff trying to squirm away. Now, Jeff can tag anybody here. He doesn't have to be his brother, Matt. He can tag Edger Christian as well. You get some salvation, but Dallas Page not letting Jeff get near any of the Team WWF corners. DDP at this point on television has uh, had major problems with the American badass, The Undertaker. Page playing mind games with The Undertaker by by stalking Undertaker's wife. Belly to belly suplex by Page, but there's a cover for two. But all those machinations aside, that, that really wasn't the best way to introduce DDP to that particular audience, Les. Uh, I think the, the DDP you and I know certainly is uh, that uh, of the reputation of the hardest working man in WCW who... <laughs> Uh, you know, against all odds, being a three-time world champion. Maybe he's working for another uh, designation as the least working man. <laughs> Maybe tonight, right? I don't know. Canyon, that stalling suplex uh, on Jeff Hardy, and Hardy falls. Canyon quickly into the cover, and again, the form across the face, two count only, and um, certainly that's, a, as I said, insult to injury as well, as far as uh, when you're covering somebody, as you see Matt Cheering on Jeff Hardy as Canyon wears him down with a chin lock. We've settled into a match here, I think, now. We have. Yes. Uh, all six participants are actually on the apron or in the ring. Well, that's a good qualification to have. I mean, yeah, not Har seated at ringside. or <laughs> Hardy is to his feet now, looking to quicken this pace, perhaps. Canyon counters. Beautiful neck breaker off the hip toss counter. Hardy's down. Two count only, says Scott Dickinson, and Edge comes in to interrupt because keep in mind, or rather Christian does, it is one fall to a finish. If Canyon pins Jeff, then Edge and Christian lose as well. Page back in. And Diamond Dallas, at this point, was already in his mid to late 40s, but looks incredible for his age, wouldn't you say? Yeah, sure. And Well, that's not going to make you look good. I don't know how many of those I've counted tonight. Quite a fair amount. Too many. One is too many. And DDP is in trouble as Jeff Hardy being willed on by Lita by Matt. Well, Matt's been knocked off the, the apron here at some point. Edge made the tag. Dickinson didn't see it. Canyon had the referee. Edge complaining about uh, Dickinson missing the call, but nothing he can do. You can't call what you don't see. And that allows Canyon to be the opportunist and punish Hardy behind the back of everybody. Canyon hooks the leg, and Hardy barely kicks out. One thing we know about Jeff Hardy is the incredible resiliency 
he possesses and his uh, ability to withstand incredible amounts of punishment. And he'll need to have that in a big way here as he's uh, being double teamed quite frequently. Two on one, frequent tags, tag team chemistry by two of the best in the game today, Canyon and DDP. Hardy gets the foot up. Both feet up this time. Hardy looked to quick in the pace. Canyon counters. Northern Lights like suplex on the tips of his toes. And so a bridge that good is very, very difficult to, to carry out, isn't it, Les? Yes, it is. And there's a good reason not to wear a belt. It gives a guy uh, something to hang on to and drag your ass back in the corner. There you go. And Page in now toying with Jeff Hardy. Hardy not showing much uh, movement here. Page with a cover again finds two. But uh, the longer Jeff Hardy is in this ring, the more you can sense him fading and the closer to a potential demise here and a Team Alliance victory as Page drives Hardy down to the canvas hard. Two count, and again, Edge interrupts. Hardy is, you gotta, you gotta believe Jeff Hardy's on the brink of defeat here. We got three fresh men on the right side of the screen and Page is picking on Dickinson for being late to the draw. Man, Page and Canyon just do whatever the hell they want, don't they? They seem to, don't they? And Hardy counters that time. Page went back to that that takedown, but Hardy caught DDP with a jawbreaker, and this could be the turning point Jeff Hardy needs if he can find a fresh man on Team WWF. Heading for the wrong corner there, Jeffrey. Turn it around. There you go. Jeffrey Nero Hardy finds his brother Matt, and Matt and Canyon, the legal man. And it's Hardy the power slam. The cover hook of the leg of DDP bails out Canyon. And Page getting in the face of Dickinson again. Come on now. What's he done to you? Dickinson trying to lay down the law. DDP may think he's above the law, but nothing doing. Wait a minute. Diamond cutter to Scott Dickinson. Oh, man. Dickinson got dropped. And any danger, yeah, he felt the bang all right. But here comes Edge and Christian. <laughs> and mocking TDP. And look at this. And the Hardys and Christian and Edge are teaming together. Yeah, it's that WWF loyalty against that WCW alliance in the summer of 2001. And while uh, that particular rivalry, I think, is looked at and panned, by many insiders as one of the biggest disappointments in wrestling history. We're getting a hell of a hidden gem from that here tonight. Christian, the inverted DDT. Matt Hardy, Team Extreme, hits the leg drop. And on the other side, Edge, Channel and Matt Hardy, a base for Jeff to collide with the legs. Wait a minute, Lita, what's she going to do? Whatever the hell she wants. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lita Canrana. A canyon out on his feet. Edge hits the execution. And the exclamation point comes with a Jeff Hardy swanton bomb. Dickinson back in the ring. The Hardy Boys win it for Team WWF. Joseph, it's been a hell of a trip, my friend. Oh, to say the least, let's get the word. The Hardy Boys, the official winners here tonight. And that caps off Pillman 2001. It caps off the Brian Pillman Memorial Anthology. We have seen a little bit of everything over these, uh, this four-year span. And uh, before we get our last words, we may get the last words from these performers if uh, any of them decide to talk. I'm not sure. But, uh, my God, the level of star power. Just dozens and dozens of internationally renowned names, past, present, and future, all together with one common goal. And there you see the the Michael Hayes-inspired fist bump in there. As Edge, Christian, Lita, Jeff, and Matt in here doing it for the WWF, doing it for themselves. But as we said, all, all anthology. Look, look at that, Adi. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I, I'm sitting there thinking, damn, we had a lot of people. <laughs> They're doing it for Brian Pillman. Keep in mind, flying Brian Pillman in the early 90s, his matches with Jushin Thunder Liger, before WCW's Cruiserweights were called the Cruiserweights. He was innovating that style in this country that would inspire the Edge and Christians, 
the Hardy Boys, the Shark Boys, and so many more. And let's go to Edge for his words. All you people leave and get back in your seats. I'm tired of it. Um, I would have cut them off way back, and they would have hated me. You know what? It sounds to me that, like these people want to see a five-second pose. Am I hearing this right? So, Hardy Boys, Lita, I think Christian has an idea. I can't see a more fitting way to end this show than to give all these people a five-second pose with the Hardy Boys and Lita. What do you say? What, Edge Christian? That would totally reek of awesomeness. Well, the start of the matchup, DDP and Canyon wouldn't give him the five second pose, but Edge and Christian and Team Extreme <laughs> give the audience a moment to remember at the end of Pillman 2001, a pose that will stand the test of time. Okay. And Les, thank you so much for letting us climb into these archives and I would say relive, but for so many of us, live for the first time a truly historic time in pro wrestling and events that will never be replicated and duplicated for how much they meant to the community, to, to certainly the memory of Brian Pillman, and, and to, to the industry as a whole. Man, I, I'm, I'm just so proud of everybody. I am. Uh, the, the people, so many numbers of behind the scenes and in the ring. and cool. Yeah, That's it's it's, it's been a hell of a trip, and I've enjoyed it. And I hope the, those of you watching it have enjoyed it as much as we have. Hey, one last thing I want to say. Sure, I know a lot of people here. No man, Jeff Hardy or baby faces. No Edge and Christian or Hills, King of the Ring. But one thing I want to say to you guys, thank you for a great career in the wrestling business. You've made us, and I think we've made you with three letters, TLC. And these people respect the hell out of that. And for that, I respect the hell out of each and every one of you. Thank you, Brian Pillman. And Edge ends it with the four words that truly matter in all this. Thank you, Brian Pillman. Brian, this was all for you. Thank you for your contributions. The business has never been the same 